Hello, hello, Hannah the Suburban Witch here, and today we are taking a look at some caromancy. In today's episode, I'm going to show you some candle wax from a melted candle, and we're going to try to interpret this wax together. I'm going to give you some tips on what to look for and how to interweave it with the purpose of your candle burning. If you're new to my channel, I'm Hannah the Suburban Witch, an intuitive tarot reader and astrologer, and I love bringing you all my witchy content here on YouTube. I release a video approximately every second Wednesday. Make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss one. You can also find me on pretty much all the social medias under the name of Suburban Witchery. Let's crack into it. So I burnt this candle the other day. Now this is a red candle as you can see so that already might give you a little bit of a clue uh, as to what the purpose was for this and if you are an Instagram follower you may have already seen this on my story as we have done this exercise already. So I can give you some of the things that people saw as well and how they may or may not have related to what this is. Okay take a deep breath and just have a look at what you can see here. I'm just going to turn it very slowly. You may see an image in the wax as a whole or separate smaller images within the wax. What's coming to your mind? What do you see, feel, hear? Now, when I did this exercise on my Instagram story, we had a lot of responses. Now, some of them ranged from things like seeing a mushroom, which we could almost see from like the mushroom cap basically being here, uh, and the stalk would have been in the middle there. We heard also things like a mountain, a pond, a woman standing at the edge of a pond with her hair draped down. So we can see that beautiful woman there at the side and her hair is draping down. Lots of people saw something like a snake coiled in around itself, a clitoris, a vulva, vagina, penis, reproductive energy, feminine energy. These are a lot of the things that people were seeing and feeling when they were tuning into this. Did you get any of those? Now, the purpose of me burning this beautiful red candle was to welcome the return of my monthly cycle after having my baby six months ago. So on the dark moon phase last week, I decided to burn this beautiful candle and the next day came back and had a look at the wax. Now, the first thing that I could see was a penis and a vagina. So if we have a look right here on this side, that is the penis on the back and the vagina on this side here, the vaginal opening. You can almost see it as well, like this being the womb and the vaginal canal. Now, when I look at this, the internal part has no wax on it whatsoever. And that lack of wax to me, so shows us a clearing out, which is what a period is doing, right? It's clearing out the womb. Now, a lot of people saw snakes. Now, snakes works in with this as well. Snakes represent rebirth, shedding the skin and shedding the layers. Now, a period is shedding the uterine lining. That's what it is, okay? So that absolutely works in here with the meaning. Now the penis and the vagina, they're inextricably linked. They are very close together. Sexual energy, feminine, reproductive energy, absolutely in this candle wax. Now what we can also see is the image of a vagina, right? So we've got the labia majora and minora, we have the clitoris and we have the vaginal canal there as well. All of this represents a vagina and feminine energy ovulating again, having a period. It's all absolutely linked. And what I would take away from this, and the first thing that I thought was my body is basically saying it's ready, it's in working order, give me a baby whenever you're ready. That's what it's saying, right? Now I have a six month old, that would be a little bit chaotic to get pregnant right now. It's not something I'm trying to do, but my body's just telling me it's all in working order and doing what it should. Now this is just one way of doing caromancy, which is reading the wax from your candle. So if you light a spell candle, you can see the way that it burns and the way that it makes shapes. Now you can do this as it's burning down or at the end when it's left over like this. Not all candles will leave a pool of wax like this. Some just vanish completely. Now, if yours vanishes completely and it's a spell candle, I'd say that is a good sign your spell has manifested out into the universe. 
Now, if you're using a fixing candle like this or a nine day or seven day Novena candle, these ones, sometimes as they go down, you might see shapes in the wax left over. You might sh see shapes on the glass with the smoke. That's technically not caromancy, but it's still divining something from the candle after you've completed the spell. Now, if it is just looking at the smoke or the smoke remnants, that's more capnomancy, whereas reading the wax is caromancy. Another way you can do this is without doing a spell or without lighting a candle for a purpose. You simply light a candle and then what you would do is tilt the candle over a bowl of water and let that wax drip into the bowl. Now that you can then read the candle wax there. If you're interested in all of this divination stuff, definitely check out my divination class lesson one. It's up on my website and it is on sale at the moment, but not for long. As always, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world today and I'll chat to you next time. Bye. Bye.